See, this is the most important and frequently uh, question asked in your CBSE board exams that why is the short run average post curves are U shaped? See, this is your graph. Here you take your cost, here you take your output. You've seen that your average, your average variable cost is like this and it goes on increasing, right? And this is your average fixed cost, average total cost, and somewhere here is a rectangular hyperbola of average fixed cost. So, average total and average uh, variable costs are U shaped curves in the short run. Why is it so? See, we've done in the previous lectures the law of variable proportions. This law states that as more and more of variable factors are attached to the fixed factors, a stage must ultimately come when your marginal product from each additional unit of variable factor attached to the fixed factors starts decreasing. We did three stages in that. Stage 1 when your marginal product was increasing stage 2 when your marginal product started decreasing or become then stage 3 when your marginal product becomes negative these are the three stages we did in the law of variable proportion. So, this law of variable proportion explains that when your marginal product, that when you are attaching your variable factors to your fixed factors, your marginal product is increasing, means you are, you are getting more of your additional output, more than as in when you add your variable factors to it. For variable factors you need to pay your variable cost. So in this way if your marginal product is increasing so you will be bearing a lesser 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 cost. At some point where your TP starts increasing at a diminishing rate you get a decreasing marginal product. This I have explained completely in your law of variable proportion video. At this point of time your variable costs are more just because you need more of the fixed factors in order to utilize proper of your variable factors, right? You, I gave the example of cotton yarn, one lakh ton of cotton yarn, right? And to, you can make thousand shirts, but you do not have the equipment, you do not have the space in your factory to make the thousand shirts and you do not have labor to make the thousand shirts. So initially in order to make those thousand shirts you have to increase more of your resources so this will add to your cost. So your variable cost starts increasing due to decreasing marginal product and your marginal product becomes negative again your variable cost increases and there was a point where your marginal product was constant. So in this also your average variable cost is constant. So till here your average variable cost is reducing which means you are at the increasing return to factors. Means as you employ more and more of variable cost your fixed factors are enough to make more of the output to make to produce more so this is an increasing return to factor we did and then we did that constant return to factor so this constant return to factor is this when your marginal product is constant and your average variable cost is constant and then we did decreasing 
return to factor means if you employ more and more of variable factors your variable cost is increasing you bind those variable factors like raw material and everything but you do not have the fixed factors enough that can properly utilize your variable factors you do not have machine you do not have extra space so what you do you start investing in your fixed factors you buy new machines right you buy a new building to it and then you increase your output so you are adding you are changing your fixed cost so your fixed cost becomes inefficient at this point of time your average variable cost starts increasing and at some point it's increasing and at some point your average variable cost is constant so it, the same goes with your average total cost because average total cost is the summation of average variable cost and average fixed cost so this is due to the law of variable proportions your average cost curve is u shaped in the short run I hope you like the video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us